So today, we're playing with this bad boy. This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by Kill Fab Clothing Company. Find all the latest Fab Forms merch at killfab.com. So a while back, you probably remember uh, working on me working on this upper intake, and uh, had a guy do a 3D printed version of what I kind of thought I wanted. Um, actually, let's see. So the original, the original idea that I had was. This bad boy right here. So now this is just a mock-up out of some cardboard and some black tape. And so I kind of I kind of drew out the dimensions of this thing the way that uh, I felt like the intake needed to be. And uh, we kind of modernized it just a little bit, rounded off some of the edges, and the idea was we're gonna put some recessed bolts in this thing to kind of hold it together. The only thing I didn't really care for was well, it was a little bit too high. So the old one was about the level of this. It kind of just ties in right here. It kind of fits that theme and then it kind of went up this way. And I wanted to do a portion of this in carbon. Well, let me kind of back up. Initially, I wanted to do a portion of it in carbon. So like on this one here, the whole upper half of this was gonna be carbon. The whole lower half was gonna be aluminum. Now initially when I was gonna build it, it was just gonna be sheet aluminum. I was gonna kind of break and bend and then TIG weld it up. And uh, then we started looking at maybe doing some CNC work. So once the CNC work option came along, I was like, man, it'd be nice to just do a whole CNC intake, right? I'll bill it uh, two piece unit and so that was the mock-up that you see here it turned out really good just uh just for me sending pictures of the ports you know like next to a ruler he could kind of measure out the ports and um turned out really nice for not having the lower intake here but after kind of doing a 3d printed version i realized that I really wanted to do the carbon uh, like I'd initially envisioned. And so what I ended up doing is having him just make a CNC lowered. So this is all uh, built aluminum. It's got all the ports, as you can see. Everything's done. I haven't fit it yet, but I feel pretty certain it's gonna fit just as well as that one there. Now, if you look close, you'll see that it's uh, in two pieces. So there's this top piece here is actually a flange that bolts on there. Looks like there's some stainless hardware. So it kind of bolts on there. And then, you know, there's a lower piece that's uh, all part of this lower section. So the idea is that when I do a carbon piece, I'll take this flange off, the carbon piece will go down on there. And then over top of it, this flange will go on and kind of sandwich everything together. Um, obviously, I'll put some sealer or gaskets or something in there. Matter of fact, he may have even made me a groove in this thing for uh, for an O-ring. I don't know yet. I haven't looked at it, but so that's the idea. So right now, what I want to do is I'm gonna take off this this CNC piece, uh, this uh, 3D printed piece. I'm gonna put this on there, make sure everything kind of matches up the way I think it will. And then it won't be long. I'll start making the mold for this thing um, that I'll use to make the carbon fiber piece. This thing is such a nice piece. Super stoked to super stoked to have it. It's gonna it's just gonna be like that little bit of jewelry that this that this uh, intake's gonna need, in my opinion, or the whole car, and for that fact. Plans are to probably clean it the best I possibly can and then uh, shark hide it. J 
just to keep it from oxidizing. I want it to stay nice and nice and blang blangy. You know what I'm saying? There's not gonna be much on this car that's blang blang. Uh, I'm okay with this being one of those pieces though. Oh yeah, so nice rubber gasket in there. It's recessed down there, so that'll be that'll be nice to help kind of seal that carbon uh, to this aluminum once once it's all put together. Probably still use some sealer just to make sure, but that'll definitely help. And so then there's the top piece there. So once it's all together. Just gives it that nice, nice symmetrical look to it. All right, let's put this thing on the car. Looks good. So all the ports line up really, really well. Uh, I'll probably go in here and do some port matching anyway because the um, the lower from Edelbrock is just barely machined inside the lip. And so there's kind of a little step there. So when I go in there and actually port match or just clean up this lower intake, I'll kind of match it to the billet piece. But you can see all these ports line up really really well and he even put like a beveled edge on this thing too to kind of um, help with some of the airflow or to minimize turbulence going in there so it's super nice now I can see that some of the bolt holes don't quite line up the four in the middle line up really well the back ones that hole needs to be taken that way just a little bit and the front ones need to go that way just a little bit so no big deal I'll just kind of uh, clearance those just a little bit towards the front clearance these just a little bit towards the back and then because they both go the same way I would think this thing is reversible but I'll probably mark it just to make sure that it stays the same so there you go looking pretty sweet so far I love that this is kind of low the intake will come right up off the back of this thing Throttle body will still mount right on the front. Uh, you got the jewelry from the side. It's gonna kind of match the valve covers a little bit. So yeah, I'm stoked. One other thing too I need to check is the clearance on the distributor. Uh, might be pretty close. I won't be able to take anything off this. If anything, I'll either have to run like a small top distributor or worst case, I'll go uh, either EDIS or coil on plug. Coil on plug would be legit because I could like just mount the coils like right in here somewhere and then literally just have the you know the, the coil plugs just go right to the spark plugs themselves. So I mean it would be cool, it could be really easy to do. The only thing is you know this is a Ford engine you know because it's a Fox body. Uh, I really want it to get credit for being a Ford engine. You put coal on plug on that thing and instantly people are gonna be like LS. Well not everybody, but you, you kind of get that. If they see the coal unplug, they immediately think it's an LS motor. So I'll have to see. Coal unplug would definitely make it clean, nice and clean. I just plug that hole, maybe put, I think I have to have some, got to have a certain plug in there because you still have to turn the oil pump. You know, the oil pump shaft is driven by the camshaft. So I'll have to make sure that's in there. And then I think they also use that as a cam sink. So. Maybe Holly or somebody makes basically just like a, a dummy shaft that goes in there. It acts as a cam sink and it'll, you know, it will turn the oil pump. I like it. Looks super dope. I don't know if I got a distributor somewhere I can stick in this thing. 
I'm almost positive I've got one somewhere. Okay. Got all kinds of Mustang parts, but most of them are like 302 stuff. So I think that's the distributor I bought for the Goose. And if I'm not mistaken, I put the old one that I was planning on using initially back in. Oh, look at that. I really hate to be a pack rat, but sometimes, just sometimes it pays off for you. So I can already see that it's hitting there. Uh, so I won't be able to get it in with the intake on it, but with this off, maybe this can go in and slide down far enough where the distributor cap can fit in there and then I can put the intake on. So I got the distributor in and I'm looking and uh, it is super close, which this thing may be a little bit forward to. There ain't much forward. So I mean, even the lower basically rubs. So once I slide this thing up where it needs to be to be matched up, uh, it's gonna be a no bueno on that thing. There's no way to get a shiver cap in there. So, back to the drawing board, I guess. I've got other options that'll probably actually be better than a distributor anyway. Um, it's gonna cost, take me a little more work, a little more money, but hey, I'm gonna build like this. Doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, I could go small, but I don't even know if it, I don't even know if it would fit even with a small rotor on there, or I mean a distributor cap, because the small caps I think are the same size as this that is coming straight up. So I guess we're going coal on plug. All right, well, anyway, there's the intake. And uh, very soon, pretty soon I'm gonna start making the mold and um, make the carbon up for that thing. I've got everything I need. I've got the carbon fiber already. I've got the vacuum bag material. I've got the breather cloth. I've got everything I need. I think I gotta go buy a vac pump. I think my old vac pump took a crap. So very soon, y'all stay tuned. Carbon fiber build, carbon fiber intake build coming soon. And I'll do it all in one video. Um, I'll do the mold and then actually making the piece all in one shot. So I did one a long time ago. Uh, for those of you that have been around for a long time you may have seen it I do that thing I've got it somewhere around here so this is a carbon fiber box stepper I made uh, that was built kind of on the same premise so um, may have even been the same exact lower it was so the exact same lower uh, from Edelbrock I think I did it for a 302 the first time and then what I did is instead of making, instead of making uh, this bottom piece billet like the new one's gonna be, I just made a lower carbon, upper carbon. And then I bolted it all together, kind of the same way. So it worked pretty well. It turned out pretty nice. I was pretty happy with it. Got my name on the top. And this is an old, old build on the channel. I mean, this was like one of the first builds I ever did. So you'd have to be like an OG subscriber to have remembered this build, but um, yeah, it turned out pretty well. The only problem was that this flange section just wasn't substantial enough. And so under vacuum, it actually would pull it in um, slightly. You'd kind of see it moving. And so I hope the billet piece will fix that a lot. Plus the new piece can do it much thicker. So I probably didn't put enough layers on this one when I built it. But uh, anyway, that is the idea. So just imagine something kind of ish. Be bigger, obviously. I mean, it's going to come all the way out, right? And it'll be more shaped like this piece here. Versus like that one. 
this one was made to come out the side because it went on uh, just a regular fox body. Anyway, it's gonna be dope. Stay tuned. Build coming soon. Thanks to uh, thanks to Ahmed up in Canada of uh, Levon Designs. He's the one that did all this work for me. Did a phenomenal job. Spent the time to do 3D printing, even though we didn't go that route. So much appreciated. Y'all go check him out. I'll actually uh, link him up in the description. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I gotta go do work, son.